Hey everybody, it's Mark again, and I hope everybody is enjoying my YouTube videos. I hope I'm answering your questions. Um, I try to. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, questions here lately on the um, music boxes and the plastic wheels and where my friend is on 3D printing these wheels. And so this video is going to be a two-part video, uh, sorry, two-answer video. Um, it's going to discuss what it takes to make those plastic wheels, why it's taken so long. And it's also going to discuss what the difference between a wheel is on a clock or a music box assembly and what a pinion is gear is. You have to understand the difference in order to order the right governor assembly for a music box. It's very important that you understand the difference. And so, um, Hopefully this video will answer those questions and give you an understanding of plastic wheels cannot just be printed up and you used. You have to go through a lot of uh, designing, trial, error uh, situation. And this video is going to explain why it's taken so long. So kick back, relax, grab something to eat, grab something to drink, grab something to smoke if you choose to do so. I'm still chewing my Nicorette gum. And uh, let's learn things. And um, there was a portion of this video, I don't know what I did with it, but what I have in this video will basically cover everything that you need to know. Now this is a picture directly from Time Savers. And it and I want to discuss a few parts and we're gonna show you them again with the real live governor assembly. But You know, it, it's, uh, it's not a simple process to, um, to make these wheels. And, and I'm going to hopefully explain why. This is the governor assembly. Here's the governor fan. And this wheel right here, even though this is a metal wheel, this wheel right here, is what normally cracks uh, in the plastic uh, system. At the end of this shaft, it's what is called a pinion gear. Pinion gears match up with wheels, and this being a wheel with several teeth on it. But on the end of this wheel, there's also a pinion gear that matches up with the music box drum assembly wheel to make it turn. And if you look right here, there's four different part numbers. One contains, this is the number of teeth on the comb, the music comb itself, but I'm not worried about that. What I'm concerned about is the number of pinions teeth on the end of this wheel right here that matches up with the drum assembly. There's one that has 12 teeth, one that has 13 teeth, one that has 14 teeth, and one that has 9 teeth. If your system 
which say, for example, takes 12 teeth, and you bought one that takes 14 teeth, it's not going to work properly. This used to say some modification is required. Now it says these new units may need mounting holes filed out to fit your movement. The new uh, systems have a single round hole. The old systems have an oblong hole. That way you can twist and turn the governor assembly to match to match this wheel's pinion gear up with the drum wheel assembly. You also might have to break this tab off because like in this music box assembly, the shutoff lever is attached to the comb assembly where this is for the older style assemblies that have, let's say for the little man that comes out, it's mounted here in some of the assemblies. So this will not fit underneath the section for the music box until you break this tab off and you might have to file down some of this other brass part to get this to work on that. And so, um, let's get out a, 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 a real one and explain that further. Here is a music box assembly without the governor on it. This is called the drum assembly that makes the music play. This is called a wheel that's attached to the drum assembly. Every wheel on a clock or a, a music box or has a wheel has to match up to a pinion gear. There's two types of pinion gears. There's a lantern pinion gear, which is wires that, let me draw a picture. This would be known as a lantern pinion assembly. This would be the top of the lantern pinion and these dots represent the wires that shove through the the brass plate here and this represents the center shaft here is that lantern pinion these are the wires that shove through these holes and here's a top plate, here's a bottom plate, and then you have um, a shaft that goes through it that connects to a wheel, and this is a crudely done representation for a wheel. But this is the older style clocks pinion gear. It's called a lantern pinion assembly. This is a escapement wheel. The big part is the wheel. This part right here is called a pinion gear. That part there is what matches up to the the next wheel, if this was a one-day cuckoo clock, this is the third wheel. This part right here matches up to the second wheel. 
and even though this is not a second wheel it would match up to something like this but as the wheels get bigger or smaller the number of teeth on this pinion gear can change more than likely it will change this is called the on a one day cuckoo clock the third wheel with warning pen right here's the pen itself again the big part is the wheel this part right here with these grooves in it is called the pinion gear getting back to the governor assemblies this would be the plastic wheel which matches up to the fly pinion gear the shaft on the end of the shaft has got a pinion gear just similar to this on the third wheel with warning pen it's hard for you to see this wheel which matches up to the drum assembly sorry the this wheel matches up to that pinion and then this pinion gear here is what matches up to the drum assembly on the music box like so however when you order a new governor assembly that's what this entire thing is you have to count the pinion gears on this wheel here again what I'm pointing at is the pinion gear the pinion gear matches up to the drum assembly so if and I would suggest counting them several times before you order them because there's such a small difference if if this is a 12 pinion gear and you accidentally count 13 it's not going to work on the particular drum assembly that you have an 8 pinion gear is going to match up to a drum assembly that doesn't have as many teeth on the wheel of the drum assembly again these are called pinion gears this is the wheel this is called an escapement wheel a wheel in most cases connects to a pinion gear on another wheel if this was the second wheel on the time side strike the second wheel would match up to the escapement wheel pinion gear but this this probably wouldn't work because it's a, a smaller wheel than the actual second wheel on the time side wheels match up to pinion gears pinion gear pinion gear wheel assembly wheel assembly the wheel assemblies have a lot more teeth than the pinion gears if you had to count all these teeth 
before you ordered a governor assembly, that's a lot of counting. But what you have to count is the pinion gears on the end of this wheel assembly here. Now, in this case, this governor assembly has those two holes that are on top of that picture I showed you. I don't have a music box where this trip lever is mounted to the comb. So in that governor assembly that I showed you in the picture would work for this music box. You see this music box? If I was to unscrew these whole, uh, screws, it probably has a perfectly round hole, which it does. It has a perfectly round hole so that governor assembly would fit right down on this music box assembly as long as these holes are the same distance apart but most of the time you have to make these holes oblonged when you order the governor assemblies you see these holes they're oblonged that way when you put it onto the onto the system and you go to tighten down the screws you can wiggle this around to match it up to make sure that the the wheel on the drum assembly is matching up to the pinion gear on this wheel here but because there are four different types or pinion assemblies the plastic wheel as you seen earlier in this video is going to be different sizes so the guy that's creating these plastic wheels he's going to have to create four different plastic wheels to accommodate the different governor assemblies as you've seen earlier in this video i measured one plastic wheel that was 6.4 millimeters in width another wheel that was 8.1 millimeters in width and another one that was 7.7 .7 millimeters in width so it's not an easy task at one time black force imports sold plastic wheels Five for twenty-five dollars, five dollars a wheel, but they were specifically for one type of governor assembly. They they all wouldn't fit on each governor assembly that is available. I hope this video helped. I hope it uh, clarifies how to order a governor assembly if you need to order one. And I hope that you understand the difference between what a pinion gear is and what a wheel assembly is. Again, the wheel assemblies will typically match up to a pinion gear. That's how they work, except for off the top of my head and the escapement wheel, where the escapement wheel has a pinion gear on it, and that 
pinion gear matches up to the the uh, NA one day cuckoo clock will match up to the second wheel the bigger wheel that matches up to the escapement wheel pinion gear but the escapement wheel itself matches up to the birch assembly to allow you to get that tick tock action so uh I hope this clarifies uh, those two items. And again, it is going to take some time to 3D print four different types of wheels um, because I don't have every music box assembly that there is and so he gives me a wheel I test it out I give him the thumbs up or I tell him it has to be created to where it's smaller because or bigger or whether it's going to work or not so uh, that is why it is going to take some time to get these plastic wheels created. And the man has a full-time job working for his dad, so he only does this in his spare time when he can. And then he has to uh, get with me to, um, to verify his work. So, uh, again, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, and may God bless each and every one of you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it's free to do so.